Good afternoon everyone, especially Mr. Yofi. I'm Felicia Dewi Manalu from class 9.2. I'm going to tell a story about beauty and the beast. So, let's enjoy it. In a village in France, there lived an old scientist named Maurice. Maurice lived with his daughter named Belle. Belle was the most beautiful girl in his village. So, the every man in the village loved her very much, including Gaston. She always spends her time in the library to read books. Her favorite book was one of the fairy tales about Prince Whiskers. One day, Maurice went off the city along with his horse, named Philip. However, in the middle of the trip, they got lost and were attacked by a wolf pack. Philip felt scared, so he jumped very high. Maurice, who is in his shoulder, was falling while Philip escaped. Maurice was in fear. He ran immediately. Then he arrived at a very old castor. It was very, very creepy, but he still entered the old castle. castle was occupied by a monster named Beast. After knowing about Maurice existed in his castle, he arrested Maurice and put him into a prison. Philip, who managed to escape from the wolf, returned to the house. Bill was worried because Maurice was not came with Philip, so she immediately looked for her father in the woods alone. And then, she entered the castle and found her dad held there. The beast knew it and became angry. Beast released Maurice, but Belle stayed in the castle. At first, Belle disliked Beast, who was very rude and grumpy. Even Belle tried to escape from the castle because Beast scolded her. Belle, who escaped from the castle, was attacked by wolves in the jungle. But she was saved by the beast that went up with her. Poor beast, he got injured. And then he brought Belle back to the palace. After that, Belle treated the beast well. The day after day passed, the relationship between Belle and beast were better. They became a friend and eventually they fell in love with each other. However, the beast was afraid to express his love. At the time when the beast wanted to confess his feelings, Bill saw her father was sick through the magic mirror. And of course, she asked the beast to meet her father. With unwillingness, the beast let her go. Once Belle returned to the village, she was forced to marry Gaston. But Belle rejected. Gaston knew that Belle had fallen in love with a monster in a castle in the wood. Belle and her father got arrested, and then Gaston decided all the villagers to attack the castle and kill the beast. They went to the castle to hunt the beast, but Belle and Maurice managed to escape. Gaston and the villagers had managed to enter the castle. They attack, they attack all inhabitants of the castle. The beast was angry, attacked Gaston. But when he would kill Gaston, the beast did not continue his action and released Gaston. However, Gaston shot the beast from the back. At the time, Belle came and saw the beast, who were severely injured. Seeing Belle at that time, the beast got sighted back. He is sighted. And then, Gaston tried to attack him back. Attack! 
However, Beast definitely dodged Gaston, and then Gaston fell from the top of this castle and died. Beast was seriously injured and no longer able to survive. This is as the last day stands of magic rose. It fell. Unfortunately, the beast stopped breathing. Belle was crying. She shouted and said, I love you, beast. I really, really love you. And suddenly, a miracle occurred. The curse on the castle disappeared. Scary Castle was transformed into a beautiful palace. All its inhabitants turned into humans. And the beast turned back into a handsome prince. The curse was gone because of Belle's love to the beast. Finally, the beast and Belle married and lived happily ever. Moral of the story is stupidity is found not in how one looks, but in how one treats others. Well mates, this is the end of the video. May you all have a very joyful time with this video and the story. Good afternoon, session for San Francisco, Pachepili.